Uh, Jenny returned to L.A. just before Christmas. Uh, she drove straight back into her old life and forgot all about Angie and the farm. Um, in the years that followed, she married and divorced twice and starred in three great movies and five terrible ones. <laughs> that seems about right. Uh, she got clean from drugs for a while, but never managed to shake off her addiction for good. Um, it followed her for years like an evil spirit, uh, growing in strength, uh, bringing her closer and closer to destruction. Um, until she finally overdosed. Oh, man. Uh, the tabloids wrote about her death, and it became the hottest topic in the world. For a week. <laughs> uh, then everyone moved on. Good to see she got her 15 minutes of fame, you know? Angeline, whether uh, George often wishes things turned out differently. Uh, he's certain uh, something could have been done to prevent this. Uh, sometimes he wakes up at night thinking he knows what it is, but those thoughts vanish as quickly as they come. Uh, deep down, he knows it was Angie's battle to fight, not his. Uh, he's glad that in the end, she had accepted her fate and welcomed it without fear. But he misses her all the same. Okay, there we go. We finally got to the end of the game here, man. Um, yeah, I'm, that's what that's the way I interpret that ending is that I got floating off into the light because I made the right decision in choosing to smoke the cigarette myself instead of uh killing somebody else over it. I don't know if I made the right decision or not. I'm going to have to probably go back and uh, try to give the cigarette to Jenny and give the cigarette to Joyce and see what happens. I just want to see, is there a way to like skip this? I want to see if I got any like prizes, you know? Yeah, well, let me skip. It's a pretty messed up game, though. Let me tell you, man. That one chapter was just wild. The one with, uh, uh, what was her name? Annie? Uh, the Bloody Mary house, man. Yeah, that one right there, Bloody Mary. That, that chapter was freaking wild. I've never even heard another person talk about this game, and I don't know, this probably wasn't well received by the public because of just the themes that are present in this game, you know what I mean? But, I don't know, this is a very interesting play. Like I said, I play all things horror, so man, if it's, it's, if it's horror related, I'm playing it, you know? It's like, I'm, I just have many theories about this game where it's like, was this really happening? Um, is it all just a hallucination because of the drug lag on drug, drug lab under the house? Maybe that infected Angie and she's just been hallucinating all this. I just, I don't know, man. It's kind of uh, interesting to think about though. Or is that burnt cat real? And like burnt house lane is just really like purgatory for people on the verge of death? Like, I don't know. It's another theory. But yeah, I don't know, man. Let me, do, let me know what you guys think in the comments on what your theories are about this game. Did I make the right decision? Should I knock off Jenny, knock off Joyce? I don't know. I wish I could have given that cigarette to one of those... Uh, one of the dudes that tried to kill me there. 
That's what I was kind of hoping for, too, that maybe if I stepped outside that that other guy would have been there who tried to kill me. Because that cat, the bird cat said to give the cigarette to somebody that was evil. But then again, I can't tell if he was just saying that to test me. Like, I don't know, man. Like, for me personally, I feel like I made the right choice there. Because based on that ending I got, it looked like Mr. Fox just kind of like put me in the boat and it brought me out to the light, which looks like it was going to be a good place. So I think I made the right decision. I'm just going to let these credits roll here and uh, let's see if it gives any prizes or any other additional information like an epilogue or something. Well, thank you, Harvester Games, for quite a uh, nightmarish experience, man. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. This game's going to make me think a while, man. I don't know just about exactly what in the world happened in this game. I just want to see if there's anything, like any bonus content on the main screen here. Um, so it looks like there is extras. Uh, this says, thank you for purchasing Burnhouse Lane and supporting our little studio. Um, it means a lot. Some of you will be familiar with the kind of games that we make, and to some, it will be a completely new experience. Uh, but we sincerely hope that all of you will find something fresh and exciting in what's probably our biggest game to date. Uh, we've had so much fun making it for the first time, working as a real team. Uh, Burnhouse Lane, which started as The Cat Lady 2 and in time turned into its own separate story. Um, it's entirely made by two people and being self-published. It will heavily rely on the word of mouth, uh, so if you liked it, tell your friends about it, review it, stream it. It helps more than you think. Uh, but most of all, we hope you enjoy the game, and as always, we will see you at the next one. Um, Rem and Michael? Well, I thank you guys. That was a, quite an experience, man. I, I mean, I enjoyed it for sure. Just visually, the game was amazing visually, man. The storyline, I'm still kind of torn as to like what exactly happened in this. And I actually, I love that they made the game this way because it's open to interpretation to pay, based on who's playing. So for me, my final take is, is that she did have cancer. She was dying. Um, every time she went to Burn House Lane, that was kind of like her own personal purgatory hell. Um, she did all the tasks that the cat and the cat gave her a chance to extend her life. But I took that as the cat wanted her to kill somebody else with a cigarette at the end. I took that as a test. Um, if I declined that test, then maybe I would go on to heaven. And that's what it looked like with Mr. Fox sending me into the river and into the bright light. That's the way I took this game. So, But I am definitely going to reload my last save and I'm going to go back and play through and do um, giving the cigarette to Jenny and giving the cigarette to Joyce just to see like what the ending looks like so that's what we'll do in the next one conspirators but for now I hope you've enjoyed uh, Burnhouse Lane and uh, we'll be back very soon with these alternate endings